Zach and Alex are our plumbing apprentices helping on this project and I help demonstrate how we've always cut steel pipe. This is a power drive. This is what I grew up on. Sitting over this, the pipe will turn and you'll cut thread and ream it. So Zach, why don't you get started? So first he's going to take this cutter right here and there's a cutter blade right here. He's going to get it tightened up and then turn the drive on. A little bit of tightening at a time. All right, so you can see that it's cut, but see there's still a raw edge right here, and that's going to add friction, so we got to make sure that we deburr it with a reaming tool like this. Okay, so you can see how nice it is on the inside, but we're not done yet. We still have to cut threads into this, and these are tapered threads where they gradually get shallower, and that's done with this die right here. So let's get that set up. All right, slide that in, and, and Alex can put some oil on it. Ready to go? Here we go. There we go. Great. Okay, so that gets plenty hot. That oil is really important for the protect the dye and to keep the work from overheating. Are you going to back it off now? There we go. Good. So we've cut it, we've reamed it, and we've threaded it, but we're not done yet. We still have to wipe down the thread to get rid of the excess oil. Just grab me that fitting, would you? It still needs pipe dope to be applied on the threads. And then we have to add a fitting. And the fitting has the opposing threads that are tapered just like the pipe itself. We turn that on clockwise. And then we have to tighten that up with two wrenches. One wrench on the fitting and another on the pipe. And you tighten that fitting up enough until you get the angle just right. But each one of these connections could be, what, five or ten minutes. Well, there's a new method, a faster method that doesn't require all that. Our piping is still the same steel pipe we've always used, but the connection is a lot different. For that, we have a fitting. That fitting is made out of steel, but there's a gasket inside. See that yellow in there? That's a special anti-corrosion gasket that's going to not have any effect from the steel pipe or the corrosive nature of gas. Now, a tool will clamp that steel down, really sealing that gasket in. Alec, why don't you give it a start by cutting it? Good. All right, because it was cut square, there's no need to ream in there, but we do have to just clean it a little bit with some emery cloth just to make sure there's no imperfections that would go against the gasket. You don't have to do much. Okay. So now, you want to be sure that this fitting goes on enough to be sure that the gasket seals in the proper place, that there's enough meat inside. So an important safety step is to mark the pipe with a special marker. That tells you that you're on far enough. All right, Zach, why don't you come in with that tool, please? So this is the tool here. It has special jaws for each size of fitting. It's battery operated. It puts just the right amount of torque to compress this fitting. You put it right over the shoulder. You make sure the fitting's all the way onto the mark. And, you... and that's it. That's not going anywhere. And it's a safe connection. It took us about a minute, and that really adds up when you have a lot of gas connections. It saves a lot of time. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.